Bumblebeezies. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. It's 8 o'clock right now. And yesterday we announced, we finally announced where we're going next summer. So in case you guys missed that, make sure you guys go back to the previous video and find out where we're going next summer. Anyways, I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to use this Aulani mug. It's super cute. It has Mickey and Minnie right there. Donald, Duffy, and Goofy. So today, Vanessa has color guard practice. So she's getting ready. I think it's from 9 to 12. And then later on today, we're going to the fair. I'm super excited. It's the California State Fair. Uh, Vanessa's friend is coming with us, her friend Nathan. It was actually his birthday on Monday? Was it Monday or yesterday? I think it was Monday. Yeah, it was his birthday on Monday. So yeah, he's gonna come with us to the fair. I'm super excited. And there's a food festival this year. I don't know if they had that before. I don't remember I don't remember them having that, but I think we're gonna buy one pass for the festival. You pay $28 and then it's valued at $40. You can choose four different foods. It's kind of like the food and wine festival at DCA where you can get the lanyard. It's like that. I think we're only gonna buy one though. And then Nathan and Vanessa want to get the ride wristband so they can just ride as many times. So we'll get them the wristband. But AJ, he doesn't go on that many rides at the fair, so he's not gonna get the wristband. He'll just get a few tickets for you know whichever rides he wants to go on. Um I'm eating breakfast now. I just woke up. It's a sandwich, a biscuit sandwich with bacon, egg, and cheese. So this is something really weird that I just noticed about YouTube. So you guys have been leaving comments in my community tab and I have been replying to them. But I don't think you guys can see my reply because when I look at the community tab comments, it looks like none of them have replies, even though I've replied to them. So I asked AJ to comment and then I replied to his comment and he can't see my reply. It, he didn't get a notification, it's not in his inbox. So I don't know I don't know why it's like that, you guys, but I have been replying to your comments. You guys just can't see my, my reply, so now I don't know. I feel so bad because it seems like or it looks like I've just been ignoring you guys. Um, but I wanted to go over some of the comments that I got today. We did get a comment about how the fireworks happen on July 3rd and July 4th at two different parks. And yes, we know we are super excited. And then another comment is about the bus system and the dining plan. So we're staying at the Double Tree in case you missed our whole announcement video. We're staying at the Double Tree in the Disney Springs Resorts area and uh, we, we don't have the option to add the dining plan. And then about the buses, yes, we could catch the bus from Disney Springs, but our hotel, the Doubletree, actually has a free shuttle to the parks. It comes like every 30 minutes, but we really don't like waiting for the buses, which is why we've never taken the buses before. We've always just rented a car and just, you know, drove to the parks. I just prefer it that way. I don't like having to wait for the bus, especially at the end of the night and you're super tired and then you still have to wait for the bus. I would just rather have a car, but if we, if we do want to take the bus, they do have the free shuttle at the hotel. Another question that I got was, did we use a travel agent or a travel agency to plan our trip? No, I booked everything on my own. I just booked everything on the Disney World website. The only time I used a travel agency was when we went on our first Disney cruise. I booked with Small World Vacations. They were very, very helpful, very nice. They were very quick to answer my questions. You know, they were very knowledgeable. So if you want to use a travel agency, I do recommend them. Well, they're the only ones that I've used, but they were really helpful. But I just prefer booking things on my own. So I did book just directly with the Disney World website. And then another thing that I forgot to mention, I did not explain, well yesterday I forgot to explain why we chose Disney World over Hawaii. Because if you remember, you might remember that our original plan, okay well actually our original plan was Disney World and then we switched it to Hawaii and now we've switched it back to Disney World. 
The reason why we're going to Disney World is because this trip is for AJ's graduation. It's his trip. He gets to choose where we go. And I know he wants to go to Disney World. Like, I already knew he wanted to go to Disney World. But then I really wanted to go to Hawaii. So I kind of convinced him to choose Hawaii. And I felt really bad. Like, I, I wasn't going to be able to be comfortable with that decision. Because deep down inside, I know he wants to go to Disney World. So I just made the decision to change it back to Disney World. And AJ is really excited and really happy. So that's why we're going to Disney World. And yes, I know it's going to be really hot. It's going to be really humid. It's going to be crowded. I know. The last time we went to Disney World was in June 2015. It rained a lot. It was very humid. It was crowded. Yeah, I know, you guys. But... This is the only time that we can go and we really want to go for 4th of July so we can see the fireworks. So even though it's going to be hot and crowded, we're still going to go and we're still going to have a lot of fun. So after our Disney World trip, well not right after, probably like a couple of months after, Ariel and I will go to Hawaii, just the two of us. I think it's going to be really, really nice for us to just have a trip by ourselves. We can have alone time and it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm really excited for that trip too. I'm really excited. Okay, you guys, we're off to the fair. Hi. And Nathan is here, Hello. Vanessa's friend, and look, they're matching. We made it to the fair. Do you guys recognize those letters that spell California? They used to be out in front of DCA. Now they're here at the Cal Expo. Here we go. Look at the letters, you guys. I love them. We just got our food pass. We just bought one pass. You can get four items from any of the participating vendors. And the pass was $28 and it's supposed to be valued at 40. They gave us a map, but we're having a hard time understanding the map. Like the names don't match the names on the website. So we're just gonna go over here and see if there's anything here that we like. We found the wine slushies, so Ariel went to go get me one. Ooh, what did you get, Daddy? I got the blackberry. Blackberry, and then I got the sangria moscato. Is this mine? Is it very good? Cheers! Oh my gosh, wow, this is good. The first item that we're gonna try is the Grizzly Mac Attack. It's mac and cheese, and then there's pulled pork on top, and then coleslaw on top. So let's give it a try. Uh-oh, napkins are flying away. Go ahead, Daddy. You can try it first. Try the pulled pork. Check that out. Mmm, looks good. Is it good? Okay, I got pulled pork with coleslaw. Oh my god. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good. The pulled pork is really good. So the... Since we used our food pass to buy this, the, the portion is smaller, right? Because it's cheaper. It, there's a bigger portion for $14. This was $6. There's a lot for $6. Yeah. The mac and cheese is good too. The next item that we're going to try are these loaded tater tots. It has nacho cheese, bacon, sour cream, and green onions. You can try it first, Baba. Right, let's do this. Is it good? Right. And then from the same place, we also got some garlic fries. It came with chicken, chicken strips, and then Vanessa got popcorn chicken with regular fries, and then AJ got chicken strips. How is it? Very good. Good? Nathan got the lobster fries, but he couldn't finish it. It was a lot, actually, so now we're finishing it. It's really good. We just got a refill on our lemonade. We'll see if it's going for the next refill. Yeah. The plain white teas were here. Yeah, the plain white teas were here on, I think, Friday or Saturday. I think Friday, opening night. I told you they would be here. TLC was here too on Sunday. Feels good.
have a free silent dance party. Let's do it. The silent disco was so much fun, huh? Yeah, so much fun. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't think I mentioned Vanessa and Nathan are riding the rides. So that's why they're not with us right now. Okay, now we're gonna go into this room, which is the eSports. Looks like everyone in here is just playing Fortnite, you guys. So, <laughs> we're gonna go look at something else. AJ asked me, after watching Toy Story 4, do I feel bad for any of these toys? And I said, no, because they're just toys. And he was like, what? Anyways, we're just walking through the carnival. We're gonna get a refill for our lemonade right over there, ice cold lemonade. This is the same ride that they had in um, Stranger Things. Do you guys remember the ride that Hopper went into? We found Nathan and Vanessa. They're right up there. Can you guys see them? Vanessa, I forgot you were over here. There they are. That's Nathan and Vanessa. Hey guys, we're on this sky thingy. I don't know. And you can see all the rides here from here. I'll show you guys. You can see all the rides that we went on. I just feel excited. Uh, where's the ride that I went on? Oh, we went on that one. We went on that one. The zipper. The zipper. Okay, it's, I don't, it's not moving, so I don't know what's happening. We're gonna ride that one now. The rainbow well, one. We might ride the rainbow one. We'll see if we ride the rainbow one. I don't know yet. I might cry again. We're gonna get on this monorail. It came free with our ticket. So let's see how we do this. I think we just go to this booth. We'll find out. All right, we got on, you guys, for free. It came with our ticket. It's usually it's usually five dollars, five dollars per person. But it came free with our tickets, thanks to Groupon. Thanks, Groupon. Thanks, Groupon. This is my first time going on the monorail because last time when we came, they were it wasn't working. Remember, it was closed that day, so we didn't get to ride on it. Oh, there's the front entrance. California State Fair and Food Festival. Hello, I'm Tina McCour from Good Day Sacramento, your California State Fair tour guide. Good Day and CBS 13 are proud to partner with the California State Fair to help highlight this year's unique and exciting attractions and events. We start our tour with the PG&E Center Stage, where you get front row seats to the biggest names in this year's rock and concert lineup. Next, we wind our way through the Expo Center where you can experience some of the newest Exciting additions to the California. <laughs> Stop by the all new Bank of America selfie experience with unbelievable fantasy sets like Candy Mountain, The Game of Thorns, Rose Throne, or Jurassic Dark featuring glow in the dark dinosaurs. The largest part of the world in California with more than 70 thrilling rides. Now please enjoy the sights and sounds of the California Sophia. This is it, where they play soccer. Something new. This year is the debut of our food festival. If you'd like to cool off between attractions, Raging Waters is the perfect destination. With more than 25 exhilarating rides, slides, and pools, the water park is a refreshing retreat during hot summer days. Wow, look at and that, AJ. Along with the opening of the fair was the opening of our monorail. Designers from Disneyland partner with Cal Expo Designers with the goal to make Cal Expo and the State Fair the Disneyland of the North. That's why both the fairgrounds and Disneyland have monorails. Stroll through the Gourd House, pet a sturgeon, 
and see a live blacksmith demonstration. Look for the Farmer's Market with Fresh Fruit sponsored by Friends of the Fair and kids can participate in our passport program. We hope you have enjoyed yeah. riding the monorail and look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for visiting the 2019 California State Fair and Food Festival. Please remain seated until the monorail goes to a good stop at the door zone. The monorail was so much fun, hi huh, Jay. And I didn't know they were gonna tell us like the history of uh, Cal Expo and the State Fair. It was really cool. We're in the kids area, it's so cute here. Look at this little ride, it's so cute. Well, it's just like a walkthrough and then you go down the slide. But it's so cute. Vanessa told me that she went on the really, really big rides and she said it was crazy. She said I wouldn't believe it. So we just used one of our food passes on this dessert here. This is the strawberry pineapple shortcake. This was a good value, this was $10. It has vanilla ice cream and whipped cream, sprinkles, and then the strawberry and pineapple sauce. Two slices of shortcake bread. Shortcake bread? Shortcake, yeah. Go ahead, Baba. Oh, I was like, wait. All right, all right, so. Good. The sun is finally all the way down. It's nice and cool, perfect temperature, huh? The weather is so perfect right now. We bought a giant turkey leg for Nathan's mom because she asked us to get one. And now we're gonna meet the two kids at the front. Are you sure you don't wanna go on any rides, AJ? Yeah, AJ doesn't wanna go on the rides this time. We're kinda pooped because it was so hot today, it kinda drained us. The fair and the two kids are here they had so much fun good evening everyone it is time to go to sleep and it's time to end the vlog thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow good night